Did you know that if I take this sheet of paper and fold it in half 42 times that it will reach the moon? That seems pretty hard to believe, but let's do the math to see if that's true. So if I'm starting with this piece of paper and I fold it in half once, now there are two layers of paper. If I fold it in half again, now there are four layers of paper. If I fold it in half a third time, now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers of paper. So what we're trying to do is to find the pattern of how many layers of paper there will be after each fold. So if I do this one more time, this is the fourth fold. Now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 layers of paper. So it looks to me like we're doubling each time, right? We start with one, one times two is two, two times two is four, four times two is eight, eight times two is 16. And that makes sense because the paper has the same number of layers on this side and this side of where you fold it. And so when you put them on top of each other, you're just doubling the number of layers that are in your next fold of paper. I'm pretty confident that this pattern will continue each time I fold the paper. But how do I write down this pattern more efficiently? What if I want to know what happens after you fold the paper 10 times, but I don't want to write down two times two times two times two 10 times? Another way to write this is with an exponent. If I put an exponent over the number of two, it's telling me to multiply two that number of times, which is exactly what we said our pattern is. Our pattern is two raised to the number of times we fold the paper. So now if we wanna know how many layers of paper we'll have after we fold it 10 times, we can do two to the 10th power, which if you use a calculator, that's 1,024. So after 10 folds, there'll be 1,024 layers of paper, which is a lot, but I don't think that's gonna reach the moon. At the beginning, I said that folding it 42 times will reach the moon. So let's figure out how many layers of paper we'll have after 42 folds. Two to the 42 is this really big number, which is 4,398,046,511,104. So about four trillion, which is a really, really big number. We have this really big number, but how do I know if that's gonna reach the moon? Well, I know how thick a normal piece of paper is, and each layer of paper is just the thickness of the single sheet of paper. So if a normal piece of paper is about 0.1 millimeters thick, then I can take 0.1 millimeters times the number of layers of paper I have. So in this case, we have 0.1 times two to the 42, which is 439,804,651,110.4 millimeters. In order to know if that's gonna reach the moon, we have to know how far away the moon is. So on average, the moon is 384,400 kilometers away from Earth. Now we have to be a little bit careful because that measurement is in kilometers and we were measuring our paper in millimeters. But we can easily change between kilometers and millimeters. One kilometer is one million millimeters. So our stack of paper is about 439,804.6 kilometers. And 439,804.6 is bigger than 384,400. And that number is bigger than the distance to the moon which means our stack of paper would reach the moon. Now, I can't actually take this piece of paper and fold it 42 times and have it reach the moon. Can you figure out why not? I can fold this piece of paper, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It's getting really difficult. Six, maybe seven times. Oof about seven times and it's not very pretty and it got too small for me to work with and too difficult for me to press down flat. Now you should take a piece of paper and try this out. How many times can you fold it? Can you fold it more than seven? And do you think there's a way to fix this problem so that I can fold this paper more than seven times? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.